Hi guys, it's Craig Saint here from Cosmic Guru Academy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a fat tech house based sound like Patrick Topping or Solardo, a nice fat single sound to go with bare minimum percussion using Ableton Live 10 and stock samples and effects. Cool. So let's listen to what we've got so far. So I've just literally created a top loop here with just some hi-hats, some claps and some shakers. which is literally just a kick on the floor, which I got from a guy called Julian Errol, who I highly recommend checking out his channel. He's got some really cool stuff on there. Uh, and top percussion is, I've just got a hi-hat, one hi-hat, which has got a little bit of bounce on it, a main hat, offbeat hat, which is going every two bars, but the pattern's changing. There is no main hat, that is main hat. Claps is just one clap this time. Keep it nice and simple. And then shakers is just a shaker, which we've got intermittently going up and down, which is the shaker sample itself pans slightly to the left, which is quite nice because it gives quite a lot of spill on the other side and it gives a bit of room for some more elements. So that's had some swing up applied to it using the logic swing, which you can get by going into your samples, typing in swing, and you can choose what swing pattern you like. So I've gone for swing 57 for this. Not too swingy, but a little bit swingy. So this is what I've got. No processing so far. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag, we're gonna drag, uh, I'm gonna take these out for now. We're gonna drag in an instrument rack here. So to start off with, let's grab uh, an operator synth. In fact, let's grab in an instrument rack first. So we'll drag this in here. Turn off all this just now, and we'll bring it in an operator synth. So by using FM synthesis, if we turn the chord enabled on, we'll ease our kick in. Let's check what your kicks in. Boom! I think my ear isn't correcting me, mistaking me. Sorry. Good. So F. On the keyboard, I don't think it's G and key. Let's listen to the percussion and what sounds are in there. We'll make a similar sound to that. Drag us along. That sounds a bit naff just now, but we've got the basic structure of that and we can hear everything. Now we've got this in the instrument rack, let's drag in our analog synth as well to give us a bite. So this is going to cover our sub frequencies, which if we bring this down an octave, press our pencil tool off and we highlight this section here, press shift and down, that brings it down an octave. Still quite high. Okay, we'll add some harmonic frequencies to this using our chords here. And we'll add another level. These are just, this is FM simply just just adding extra levels of harmonics. Drag in an analog synth in here as well into our instrument rack. Hopefully, it doesn't copy. Don't you dare! Rainbow wheel. Ah, uh, not what we wanted. <laughs> okay, 
Let's command and set that. There we go. All right, let's put this in here. And what we can do is we can, if we put this on a square wave, single oscillator, put on a bandpass filter, put it somewhere in the middle. And so by putting it on a bandpass filter, if we solo this here, It only lets frequencies within that frequency band, maybe put a 12. Thank you. Now what we need to do is get the... is have it not so raspy. And so we can bring the release down to make it sound like it's in time with this. Okay, let's have a listen to this. It's a little bit dirty, which is what we like, but we don't want it too raspy. So we'll take some of the top end by surgically removing some of the EQ at the top. By having this as a slight, so this is your solid, this is hitting like a, a straight note. There's no, there's no cut off, there's no tail on it. By putting the analog on top of it, which is fading away, you can see the envelope here is dropping off at the start rather than being a solid note all the way through. It gives the track a little bit more depth as well. So it gives the, the synth, so it doesn't just sound like blah, 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 but it's wow, wow, it's, if you listen to it. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Again, this is just a uh, this is just a straight pattern just now. Obviously, we, if we could change about the at the end. We did that by literally taking the taking the original loop, duplicating it, changing a little bit at one end, changing a bit at the second end, and then changing a bit at the very end, giving repetition and variation. That's pretty much it. You can do some more processing after this. I have a, a standard setup here where I'll put some glue compression, saturation and overdrive on both the kick and the sub in a group. So if we put that on, we need to configure the settings properly. Just brings everything together. And that's it guys, how to create a fat sounding tech house kick like Patrick Toppin, Solardo, straight out the box, straight out of Ableton, straight out of Compton. I'm straight out of here. Thanks guys, hope you found this useful. And if you need any more videos like this, just give me a little message or leave a little message in the comments box and I'll be happy to make any more videos for you. Have a great day.